Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this Saturday, we celebrate this Mass in honor of Our Lady. Like Mary, today, let us open our hearts to receive the fullness of grace coming from our Lord Jesus. And so to prepare ourselves to receive these graces from our Lord, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written. I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones, He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, His judgments prevail. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. He remembers forever His covenant, which He made binding for a thousand generations, which He entered into with Abraham and by His oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. For He remembered His holy word to His servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen ones. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. My soul waits for His word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or what you are about to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
My dear brothers and sisters, the readings today teach us about receiving God. Ang pagtanggap natin sa Panginoon. Siguro po mga kapatid, madalas naririnig natin sinasabi sa atin, magbigay ka sa Panginoon. Give to the Lord. And that is how we live our faith. We are so good in giving to the Lord. This morning, you have given your time for the Lord in this Mass. This morning, you have given maybe your effort for the Lord to listen and pray and celebrate this Mass. But the readings today remind us that we are already so good in giving. But we have forgotten the most important thing. And that is to receive God. Baka naririnig natin yung salita na it is better to give than to receive. But today, St. Paul in the first reading reminds us we must first receive God. Masyado na tayong magaling sa pagbibigay sa Diyos. Expert na ang mga katoliko dyan. <laughs> sa pagbibigay ng donasyon, pagsisindi ng kandila, pag-o-offer ng mass intention, lahat yan, pagbibigay sa Diyos, bigay ko sa Diyos yan, alay ko sa Diyos yan. Pero ang tanong, Tinanggap mo na ba ang Diyos sa buhay mo? In our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul reminds the Christians in Rome that faith is like a gift that you need to receive. That is why the righteousness of Abraham is not about Abraham giving himself to God, but it is about Abraham receiving God in his life. That is faith. Faith is receiving God as a gift in our life. The question for us today is, have we received God in our lives? Masyado na tayong magaling sa pagbibigay sa Diyos. Ang tanong, tinanggap na ba natin ang Diyos sa buhay natin? Because many times, my dear brothers and sisters, it is a very easy tendency for us to idolize God. What do I mean when I say to idolize God? For example, siguro po sa inyong mga bahay, mayroon tayong mga altar. And there, we preserve and take care of the images of our Lord and our Lady. We offer them flowers. We offer them prayers every day. Bago ho siguro kayo lumabas ng tahanan, hahawak muna sa imahe ng mahal na ina at ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Pagbalik ng tahanan, magpapasalamat. Pero, nandoon lang sila sa altar. Baka hindi pa natin sila tinatanggap sa ating buhay. We have idolized them. They remained on the altar but we do not receive them into our lives. That is why St. Paul reminds the Christians in Rome, receive God in your life. Faith is receiving God in your life. Baka sinasabi natin sa Panginoon, dyan ka lang sa altar. Huwag kang manghihimasok sa buhay ko. Baka, ang ganda-ganda ng altar natin. Pero kapag sinabi na ng Diyos sa'yo, 
mali ang ginagawa mo, baka sabihin mo sa Diyos, eh teka, dyan ka lang sa altar. Hayaan mong bigyan kita ng, ng bulakla. Hayaan mong magrosaryo ako sa iyo. Hayaan mong magnobena ako sa iyo. Pero wag kang manghihimasok sa buhay ko. Hindi ko pa nanampalataya yan. We might have idolized God on our altars and let Him remain there on the altar. But we do not receive Him into our lives. St. Paul reminds us today, receive God into your life. This is the sin against the Holy Spirit that Jesus is talking about in the Gospel passage. The sin against the Holy Spirit is rejecting the Holy Spirit in our life. Ang kasalanan laban sa Espiritu Santo ay ang hindi pagtanggap sa Espiritu Santo sa buhay natin. Kinikilala natin ng Diyos pero sinasabi natin sa Diyos, hanggang dyan ka lang, huwag kang papasok sa buhay ko. The sin against the Holy Spirit is recognizing Him but rejecting Him and not allowing Him to enter and meddle into our lives. That is why Jesus is telling us, receive the Holy Spirit. Allow Him into your life. Allow Him to teach you what to say. Allow the Holy Spirit to teach your heart how to live every day. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, God reminds us, you have already given a lot to me. Today, receive me into your very self. In the celebration of the Mass, our model and example is Our Lady. If you look closely at the image of the Immaculate Conception in front of us, Her action is not about giving to God. Her hands are closed. And she is looking above. The action of Mary is the action of receiving God. We receive first God into our life. Then we can give much. But today, let us remind ourselves... The most important part, like Mary, and it is about receiving God into our very life. Amen. Please stand. God is our security. Let us express our trust in Him and pray for all the people with whom we make the journey of life. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to proclaim God's Word in the face of contradiction and opposition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may learn to trust in divine providence, no matter how heavily our troubles weigh upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the unemployed may find work and earn their living with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are burdened with sickness may find comfort in the love and trust of those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that those who have died may experience merciful judgment and everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, help us to always remain faithful to your word so that in our difficulties we may have the strength to persevere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.